African scientists have made history by launching Africa's most advanced nano satellite into orbit. The ZA Cube 2 is going to be used to provide remote sensing and also communication for South Africa. And let's find out how this all happened. The Department of Science and Technology's Deputy Director Den General, the DG, it's Umbanani Moafe, uh, joining us via Skype. Umbanani, good evening to you. Great news for Africa. Tell me how we got here. Good evening, Gareth, and uh, all the um, people who watch uh, ENCA. We, we, we got here because of planning. It has really been uh, on the way for a number of years. We have, if you recall, started with the satellite called Sumbandira many years back, and we started to rebuild the capacity that we had at the Cape in terms of technology. In 2013, we launched the first cube satellite, and this is the second and the most advanced one that we have actually developed and launched this morning in Russia. So give me a sense, when I tell viewers it's going to be remote sensing and communication for Southern Africa, how is Southern Africa going to benefit? Take me to the nuts and bolts of what we're going to see. So, so basically you've got a satellite which is operating up in space, which means you can be able to then remotely see. It's, it's going to assist mostly in air observations. You can see what's happening on the ground and you can relay that data and information to the various receivers uh, down on the ground. And this is really where the data then become useful. In our case, we're looking at the operation practice of ocean economy, where we use this as an instrument to monitor and survey our 4,000 kilometer coastline, which helps us in terms of trying to deal with issues of uh, illegal fishing and all the sort of shifts that get into our waters illegally. So that really is very crucial. And the most uh, exciting thing, of course, is that this tube satellite goes up there with one of the most developed uh, uh, cameras in terms of technology that will help us detect uh, fires and be able to then monitor them and report them and deal with them. As you know, we're coming now over the past few weeks uh, from the disaster in the United States of America in California, where fair fires have been very, very uh, devastating in terms of both human lives and property. So this is really going to be one of those uh, satellites that is going to assist us as a country and as a region in dealing with those challenges. Uh, it, it certainly seems, Umbonani, that uh, South Africa and Southern Africa is becoming one of the go-to places for anything aeronautical. Uh, we know about the SKA satellite system and now this. Uh, is this fast-tracking young South African scientists and do you think it's going to be inspiring young South African scientists to not only learn their trade here but ply and also stay in South Africa? The, you, you just put your fingers on, on it. This is basically what we're trying to do. Uh, this program is at the Cape Peninsula University of Technology, and this is where we've got young engineers and scientists who are coming into the space. Uh, uh, the bulk of them are South Africans, but some of them are coming from other African countries. So basically we are creating that space and, and remembering that what we are also doing is preparing this country for the fourth industrial revolution. And it doesn't start that way, knowing that space science and technologies are basically the ones that are controlling our lives today, whether it's in the form of communication, agriculture, etc. We just basically are dependent on space science and technology. Speak to me about the partnerships involved with this. South Africa is obviously incredibly talented as far as their, their scientists are concerned, but no doubt, um, Bonani, there have been some partnerships which have been key in getting this satellite into space. So, so, so there, there are partnerships that are those that deal with issues of development and, and, and capacity building, uh, and such as the ones that we have with the French. For example, you would know that at the Cape in the of Technology, we've got what we call the f or the French, South Africa Institute of, of Technology. And, 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 and then there are those partnerships that are basically just commercial. For example, this satellite is launched in Russia. It is not any other partnership but just commercial. You know that along with our satellite was a satellite from Germany, a satellite from uh, the U.S., and I think a satellite, I can't remember, from which other country. But it was just a number of satellites, including ours. We just simply paid the Russians to, to do that for us. So there are partnerships that are commercial, such as the ones that I've mentioned in Russia, where they launch, but there are those that are assisting us to build mutual capacity. For example, us assisting them and them assisting us. So those are the nature of partnerships that we have uh, in this particular program. But this program of tube satellite, the one that we've launched here, mm. is primarily the program that we as a country have established, are leading, and are bringing partners as and when necessary. 
But most crucial is also the fact that uh, uh, activities such as assembly, integration, and testing, as well as ground uh, station work, is being done by local companies, women, and black owned that we have established as part of the capacity that we developed during the Sumbandera satellite program. Uh, Mbunani, tell me, Mbunani, I'm sorry, tell me about the, the kind of timeline I'm looking at here until we start seeing uh, what ZA Cube 2 is sending back down to, to Earth. Are we seeing photos and videos yet, or is that still to come online? That will still come online. We have just been uh, getting reassurance of the, fact, of the fact that the satellite is alive and well. It's just probably maybe a bit chilly up there, but we have picked up where it is. It has crossed here already a couple of times, but very soon I uh, will also be relaying some pictures, which we will definitely share um, with, 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 with the, 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 the community as and when they become available, which will be very soon. Okay, as I begin to lose that Skype signal, I'm going to say thanks very much to you, uh, Umbanani, who's very kindly stopped his vehicle uh, to speak to us. Uh